but I guess it'll have to wait because we got Paula calling in. Paula, how you doing? Can you hear us? Uh, kind of. It's in the live. There we go. We got it. <laughs> that, that just we just had to finagle it a little bit. Okay, now I can hear you. So talk to us. I am saying you 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 might have not wanted to sound desperate on the live, but you did sound desperate. So here I am calling. <laughs> you were begging for those. Oh, calls, you're the so. best. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate I it. Oh, no. Oh, here. Oh, this poor guy. And oh, I said, no you. one was calling you, psychos. You're the best. Honestly, <laughs> it's like you have to be careful when I say things because I'm a little sneaky. I am a marketer at the end of the day, right? And, of course, I do want I, I do want people to hear it, and I appreciate you so much. But don't let me manipulate you. <laughs> it, 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 trust me, you can't easily manipulate me, but I like to turn the manipulation onto you. So whether you manipulate it or not, to me, you were crying on online. Oh, so I'm, I'm gonna. You. That's the story I choose to run with for my marketing. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. And 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 the the reality is, it's all true, right? It's all true because that, that exactly. Is I mean, you said it. It's on live. It's on camera. Everybody had you. You know, not everybody felt sorry for you like I did, but you know, they had you. And that is what makes you different, and that is why I appreciate you so much. So, I mean, while we're here, I see... But you also called me earlier, and for some reason, I was acting up, so it's like me returning a call back after I'm done talking to everybody else, and I'm like, oh, shit, there's that one person I didn't call back. <laughs> It happens. Uh, but but I love that you're here and you're here now. So why don't we talk a little bit about it? I mean, you're a podcast host, so I think a little bit of it is you can relate. You know what it's like to like uh, maybe like we don't have the most inspired guests or, or maybe we're doing it solo or maybe there's a little bit of a technical issue and we got to be creative. So what are some of your tips as a podcast host? Like what are some of the little things that you do that might be a little bit unusual? So my thing is, however you prepared whether it's tech whether it's with a guest whether it's you personally shit happens mm -hmm. shit is always gonna fucking happen and you just gotta have to ride the wave right. so um it goes back to not taking everything so personally and playing and, and and allowing yourself to be a fool right because mm -hmm. i feel like the bo bo best times are missed when we are being fools of ourselves just like you you are being a Fool saying, huh? Somebody called me, but it was a marketing uh, strategy and everything, and I fell for it. And here I am calling and talking to you, right? Oh, you so. fall for it. You have a good heart. And honestly, like, I didn't know if Jason was going to ever come back, but I think he felt sorry for me, so he took a seat. So, so I feel very seen and heard, and I appreciate that. So, thank you. I Just tell that. Jason that Toxic with you saved you say yes credit me 50 bucks or something Ooh, okay saying. jason you hear that <laughs> <laughs> what she say i'm here paula i'm sitting uh, at the table now go, yeah. go watch the screen yeah he, he gotcha no what I, did, I what did she, she deser say she she deserves it she said well she alluded to the fact that maybe you should give her a little bonus because she did call in in a moment he of was desperation. crying he i was, was literally crying. crying nobody was calling him, no, and, I saw him yeah. and i called him yeah maybe like well, oh. paula go ahead and look what i just posted on uh, the first person, on the banner. I wonder who's oh, going to yeah. get this one right. The first person to comment on what Paul's badge said at Podfest gets a ten dollar bonus. Oh, interesting! Wait. Don't tell the audience what the answer is, Paula. But then she I remember it. Okay, but the way it works is she has to automatically get the ten dollars for participating. Yes, you could get ten dollar bonus for participating. Okay, so we're going to get ten dollar for participating. But if she tells everyone before that person comments, then it does not count. Oh, hey. I ain't telling anybody. <laughs> well, you were the winner of the Jason, Nikes. J Jason bullies me at podcast. So if I say anything, I'm going to get that with a bully. Wait, did you get the Nikes? Hey, you trained me. You yeah. said you said have fun and talk hey, she and got talk the and shit with Paula. So I took she's that serious. The she's the one with the Nikes. I thought you didn't. You wanted me to stay in that same kind of zone outside of the podcast, not just during your podcast. I don't know. Oh, I love it. Stay, stay on brand, Jason. Stay Thank on you. brand. Just like me and you fuck with each other. Paul is just an they easy one to mess with. The other way. But, um, I one of the best podcasts to go on, by the way. Hers is legit. Really? 
Oh, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, She's I know just it's like this. I know it's going to be fun. It's not a boring podcast. Not at all. But what I love is she has such like sweet feminine energy, but then like a little bit of spice. There's a little zing there. <laughs> That like kind of catches you. Tiny. Uh, it catches tiny, you by right? surprise. It's like I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so done with podcasts right now. To be blunt, mm. Paul, I speak to this for a second. Like, how many podcasts are going to be where it's just two boring people speaking together and nobody's listening, nobody cares? So the reason why I like your show is like yours is just funny and, and just out there. And, I, and, 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 I, and I tend to uh, to be very myself and sometimes I have to remind myself that it's not for everybody, but I am hey. always going to be. <laughs> well, you know what? You're owl flavor and we love having you. Always, always. <laughs> You're owl well, flavor. Can I share a story of Jason? One time. Oh boy, here we go. So, um, Jason, was it last year? I, I met Jason in 2022. I was the first one to spin the wheel of owl. Yeah. And then I won every motherfucking ship on that wheel. And then that the second hilarious. year, he found me. On, I was on the registry registry booth helping uh, Podfest. Um, and then he came and he was like, I dare you. And he gives me this thing where he canceled. You know how it says introvert, extrovert? So he canceled the first part and he wrote, because I am, I'm a pervert. Like I, well, I, you I, just I, gave away the answer. The whole entire point was the way to see if somebody oh, had yeah. the answer. I'm sorry, no Jason. ten dollars for you. Jason. I'm sorry, Jason. Jason. That, is, that is so funny. It's like a third grader, right? That is so I, I'm funny. still a third grader. Like I wish all of you could see how Jason actually acts. He's actually a lot of fun. He's a little stuffy in the office, but he's actually really yeah. Because I, and, I and get you might, done. You know, continue the story since I already spoiled a lot. But anyway, he brought it to me and was like, I dare you. And I'm a person who don't fucking dare me because I am going to jump on the motherfucking tree. Oh, so I took spicy, it and I Jason. Oh, this is spicy meatball. <laughs> and I was proudly looking no, around that. And ever good. since I then, I became the all right, so Michelle's saying that uh, we should consider giving her $20. Uh, we should give Paula 20 <laughs> Because she's bringing the heat. She's making it entertaining right now. Paula, do you have anything of substance to share before we <laughs> I mean, oh my God, do you mean everything I have shared wasn't of substance? I, I, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hit you back just because it's, you know, we're playing. I gotta hit you back. Oh, you're fun. I need to come on your podcast. So, uh, it it might explode. The fact that it's International Podcasting Day and it's out. So join in and out and talk to your favorite podcasters over there. Or just oh, yeah. just come up to podcasters. Oh, we're all we're a we're a fun, colorful, cartoony bunch. I know. <laughs> I you know it's interesting. Anything. Now everyone's commenting. It's the night hours. <laughs> Everybody after dark. Wait, oh, wait till on. you see when me and Luke now everybody's on. showing up on the feeds. Oh also. yeah, when so me and Luke are going. In the house. What do you expect? I'm just saying. Paul, you better come come back right around like one two in the morning and keep this man company yeah yeah it's, are you a night out oh, oh, a little spooky oh, I, can, I can keep your company anytime so while we're oh. talking some drinks some um, some candlelights <laughs> oh some candlelights that sounds that sounds you better oh you better keep him company <laughs> yeah what are you doing tomorrow <laughs> she's in georgia she's not that far away jason honestly yeah, I'm not that far. You know what? I'm going can... to a, a concert in October, so I'll come visit you. Can't, how about that? Paula? How about this? We'll put a big bet out right now. If Paula gets it. How far is Atlanta here? Uh, if she me... comes and bees your eight o'clock guest. That would be amazing. Before the show ends at nine o'clock, what does Paula get? So, uh, what does Paula get? What does Paula get? A second pair of Nikes because she won the Nikes. Why don't you just give her the studio? <laughs> you will get to do. An episode with Jonathan from eight to nine o'clock. If you drive down here, uh, yes, eight to and nine. All the footage. Eight. Uh, yes. yes. I'm, 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 I'm a pillow princess. Mm. I'm a passenger and pillow princess. Pillow princess. So I don't drive. We're not doing. Oh, all I that. don't. Oh, it is it like a ten-hour drive? You can make it. The show's <laughs> going another twelve hours. hours. It's not ten hours. It's actually seven, probably oh, eight. Seven, eight. I don't oh, that's drive. Not bad at all. I don't know how to drive. Go I Uber, oh, Uber. You could Uber for eight hours. Uh, Brightline. Are you Ooh, paying for yeah, the Uber? Sure. If you're paying for the Uber, I'm on there. <laughs> All right. So uh, I wonder how many owl dollars it'll take to get her from an Uber from over there to here. But yeah, we'll we'll consider it. We'll consider it. But rocking and rolling, Jason. How long are you gonna be hanging out with us before you tap out? 
Well, I just want to make. Are you going to join in with Janiyad? Oh, you got someone from here. We got someone from a different country. Let's see. Greetings from from Providence. Maybe maybe Providence, Rhode Island. I don't know. Albin Roland. How you doing, buddy? Great for you to join us. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, no. We lost Paula. Oh, no. Paula, if you're watching, we, we were not paying attention to the clock. Yeah, but you better load her thing up with money before she attacks. Call us back, Paula. I'm a little bit afraid. We didn't see you. Yeah. Ooh, I got seventy-eight dollars. Look at that. I'm making all this money. You're go- well. I added fifty dollars to your account. Well, oh fuck. So you're down right <laughs> now. You got to start making these dollars back. Ah, oh, damn it! How the hell am I going to make rent? <laughs> you got to change your price from a dollar like three dollars, but you got to hit that upgrade button right here. So why don't we? You're sh- going to have to pay ten dollars a oh, month God. and get a ten dollar credit. And oh, I know. No, I have to- you got to have that credit card though. Oh fuck! I gotta put the yeah. number. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do this, and I'll and we'll show it online. Uh, except I can't. Probably show you not guys. the smartest thing to show. I can't it show you guys my online. credit card number like right now, but you we should. will do it. You should. I should because these are the people that care about you, and they'll make sure to not spend my not money. Not spend your money. Hmm. I, I I just feel like I have too many enemies to put myself out. There. Paula, call on back. We weren't. <laughs> we were not done with you. We were not done. How, uh, and how did you meet Paula? I feel like you guys so Paula me. was running the front desk at Podfest. Oh, um, and I oh. just met her at random, and then she kept coming back to our booth because she liked the out gear. Really? So she liked the T-shirt. She kept spinning the wheel the first year, and then before you knew it, it was like a T-shirt. And then I like I'll, I just like said I'll give you a hat in this if you put it on and wear. And then all of a sudden, like I got out of the elevator, and she's wearing all of our stuff like within few, a few hours. I so wish before we could, you know uh, it, we just got we got to know one another, and she she works you know. Uh, with a lot of the people from Podfest Expo, uh, year in and year out, so we just gotten to know each other. She's such a character. I'm surprised they put let's, her in the. I'm like surprised, but not surprised that they put her in the front. But let's actually look at let's let's go ahead and look at her profile. So, that's so a, we yeah, see. we could do a little analysis.